Uh, excuse me? Uh, I, th I think that you're in the wrong room. I'm in the right room. How did you even get in here? This is my new roommate, Tessa. You've met Harden. That's Molly. Hey. Can you please go out into the hall so I can get dressed? Don't flatter yourself. I'm not looking. I dare you to make out with Hart. What are you doing? Do you want to do this? He's more myself than I am. For our souls are made of. His and mine are the same. I'm done playing this game. Hi. Hi. I can't stay away from you. Are we still playing? Because I think you owe me a dare. I want to show you something. So, show me, then. It's a... it's a place. Welcome to my favorite place. Wait, I can't. How about a swim? Hmm? <laughs> Who do you love the most in the world? Myself. There are moments in our lives that seem to define us. Moments we keep going back to. My life before him was so simple and decided. You know, I am gonna tell Noah about us, I just- Us? What do you mean us? And now after him, there's just, after. What? Look, it was fun, but I don't date. I'm a mess. I think that we're both in this. I've read hundreds of novels in my life, most of them claiming that love was the center of the universe, that it could heal any damage inside of us, that it was what we need to survive. From Darcy to Heathcliff, I thought they were fools, that love was something fictional, only found in worn pages of a book. But that has all changed since I met my Elizabeth Bennet. What's all this about? Nothing. I don't know what she's talking about. You don't know what she's talking about? I mean, I don't know. What didn't you tell me? Nothing! Do you trust me? Of course I do. I then what's the problem? I never thought I would find myself completely and utterly consumed by another until her. She took my hand and led me out of the darkness and showed me that whatever our souls are made of, hers and mine are the same. Remember truth or dare? Molly, don't. I'm done playing this game. Here's a dare. Make her fall in love with me. And then I'll just... Turn it off. None of it was real. I actually thought... You're just a liar. You said nothing could change the way you felt about me. Then I guess we're both liars. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You once asked who I loved most in this world. It's you. Tessa? Hi, I just, uh, I just wanted to inform you that I look hot. Tessa, where are you? I was drunk. I called you, you came here. Harden, do you really love her? I've never felt this way about anyone before. What? My Tessa would never kiss a fucking stranger at a club. There is no your Tessa anymore. Why didn't you tell her that we broke up? She was so excited when I told her first. I couldn't ruin it for her. Harden. She's my mom. I couldn't tell her about the stupid bet, okay? I'm sorry. He told me that the nightmares went away when he started seeing you. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't know that. 
it says whatever our souls are made of. His and mine are the same. Thank you for staying tonight. Is there anything that you want? Another chance? <sighs> you promise to act like this every day? No, but I'll try. What was that for? I just loved how you said next year. Listen, we were gonna hire someone to do digital submissions in Seattle. Harden's welcome to join you. Tell me what else I can do to make you believe that I love you. Tell me! You're never gonna trust me. Trust you? You think that I should trust you? Yes. Where has that ever gotten me? She was out looking for you. I don't believe you. You're just gonna keep bringing it up every time. Because I don't trust you! The entire world is a collection of memoranda that she did exist and that I have lost her. Whatever our souls are made of, hers and mine are the same. A rather pretentious way to open our story, but I've always had a flair for the dramatic. You see, this is our story, Tessa's and mine. I tried. Only difference is this is our story, Tessa's and mine. Yeah, this, this job's a huge opportunity for me, and, and I'm hoping, I, I was hoping, that you would come with me. You have a great job in Seattle. That is great. I'm happy for you, but I don't. I don't have anything there. You'd have me. Okay, that's not enough. We do need to stop keeping secrets from each other. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, this honesty thing's really paying off for us, so I won't, I won't give up Seattle for you, so you just turn on me. There is a big difference between not being able to live without someone and loving them. You finally breathe, thinking that yesterday's problem will stay in the past, when in fact, it's today's problem. Tomorrow's problem, and the problem of every day after that. Only in those rare moments when he pulls me to his chest and makes promises he never seems able to keep, does the pain disappear. I'm sorry I hurt you. You don't. No, I... I just want you to be happy. You deserve to be happy. My concern is you may not need it. It's your service. You may not be able to get pregnant. Hi. Hi. Did I do something? You barely said a word to me the whole night. Uh, wait. Wait, do you mean like move here? The added thought of losing you is just as <laughs> It's pretty fucking dark in here, okay? It's two months, though, so recently, I, I mean, I, I wonder if it should even, Should I just call the whole thing off? Maybe I should just cancel it. I love you so much. I love you. Unfortunately, the chances are very slim that you will carry to term. Adoption is a route that many people choose. Pardon, this isn't us. Us? What us, Tess? There is no us. You don't belong here. You shouldn't be here. You don't fit in here. So just go. It's Richard. He's dead. And, uh, I should found him. You win, Harden. You always do. 
to have Harden on the phone for you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, okay, okay, no, you, you, no, can, no, you, don't, you don't have to. You'd know better than anyone. It's not, it's not about you. I know, I, I just... I mean, quiet. I'm so sorry it took something like this for me to realize how much you mean to me and how much I want to be there for you. You didn't love me enough to fight for me. You gave up every time. Let's talk about these test results. Unfortunately, the chances are very slim that you will carry the term. I'm sorry I couldn't fix you. I can't get pregnant. You know, of all people, he knows how much you mean to me. I just want to be with you. Kids, no kids. If you love me, if I you do. really love I do. me, then I need you to promise not to follow me. Give me some time, or we're going to end up taking everyone down with us. How long, Tess? How long? Reason. Oi, Tess, <laughs> at least share it if you're gonna. <laughs> no, 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 you don't get to write my story and then tell me I can't read it. Oh, it's not about you. How long have you been writing about us? After we kissed. What are you always writing in there? None of your business. You're never gonna show me what you're writing in there, are you? Maybe. You accidentally wrote a book. I mean for this to happen. People can always change. That is the kind of story after this. It's my journey after I met you. That journey's over. My failure was thinking that I was writing my journey. My story. But it was our story. Yes. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy and it does not boast. It's not proud. It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It is not easily angered and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. You two will never know how lucky you are to spend the rest of your lives with the other half of your soul. Until you've had to spend your life without them. You are always the most beautiful woman in the room. I owe you an apology. I never meant to publicly embarrass you after writing after, and I'm, I'm so sorry. I know. It was wrong to publish it without your permission, and I know that now. I really hurt you, Tess, and I'm sorry. I'm really proud of you. I was just so worried what people would think about me or us but I choose you we're inevitable yeah we are we are I can't imagine living another moment on this earth without you by my side Tess Teresa Lynn Young. Will you marry me?